Italy, where all the beautiful fabric comes from. I just got back from Rome, went on a fabric tour. Let me show you what I found. Beep, beep. Hey, Chanel here from Future Fashion Designers. This is part of my Sew on the Road playlist, where I go around the country and now the world to show you different fabric stores, what they have, different unique fabrics, all that. So um, I did, I noticed when I was looking for fabric stores, there were hardly any YouTube videos on Rome fabric stores. Actually, I don't think there was any <laughs> um, that I found. But I, so I thought, I've always wanted to go to Rome, like always, always. And this time me and my husband actually finally went. We were supposed to go on our honeymoon six years ago, but we just kept going other places. So um, I love history and Rome has all of it. And they have beautiful fabric stores. I found a good six of them. And now this is a part one. I'm gonna do a part two because there was a lot to cover. So in this video, I share with you a couple little tours that we took and one of them was a cooking class. Uh, Mike and I took cooking classes because because he likes to cook and I like to be a student and feel what it's like to learn and to be instructed because <laughs> I'm always instructing and I thought you know I kind of really get into like okay what's it like to like learn something new and uh, yeah pasta was one of them it was like it was a little wow um, I thought I could cook but it was uh, it was it was fun and it was eye-opening on how the Romans make their pasta and Wow, it was fun. So I'm gonna give you some clips of that. And then we also had a bike ride. I don't, my video got a little messed up on my bike ride. And so I had from, from phone to my uh, GoPro. So I don't think I can get a lot of that, but we went on the oldest road in the world, 312 BC in the Appia area. Uh, wow, and we went um, bike riding on it. So it was like blah, 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 like that. Wow, it was just, we just had the greatest time. We were there seven days and saw a lot so if you go to rome don't just go for a couple days there's just too much to see this is a part one i'm going to bring you the part two hopefully next week and uh, i hope you enjoy this if you want to just go to the fabric section just look in the time codes below and it will take you a minute it's at and go to right to the fabrics all right let's go to rome we're coming into, into rome okay the adventures begin Begin. I need to go. I need to go to sleep now. <laughs> we stayed at the Hotel Bernini, right in the center of the city. Close proximity to everything we needed to see. Our first stop was the Trevi Fountain. It was just a 10 minute walk from our hotel. And wow, when you walk upon it, it's like, whoa! Coin. You're gonna do you got, a coin? You got both of us, just one coin? I'll do uh, a quarter. Well, you're supposed to throw three in if you're gonna oh. marry the your love. Oh, well, we, already we've married. already done that, so we'll oh. just throw a one in there to make it come back. Oh, okay, so just one? Each. One well, each. We're both come back. Okay, ready? I don't want you to come back here without me. Oh, oh right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ready? Ready? Duo, duo trade. Great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got him. Got it in. Hey, dinner at McDonald's. The first, first night here, we're going to have McDonald's. Walking in Rome. Wow, be careful. This is where the cars and the pedestrians mingle. They mingle well, but boy, do they mingle. <laughs> Walking down the street, we see Aladdin. Well, this was interesting. All you could think was, how is he doing this?
Wow, we just had go gelato. Turn the corner and there it is. Crazy how these buildings are still here. 2,500-ish years later. And this building is strong and sturdy and still has people coming in and out of it. Finish the gelato and then we're going in. Mike. Well, our first full day was in a cooking class learning to make pasta <laughs> and raviolis and things like that which is pasta, uh, but wow, I thought Mike loves to cook and I like to be a student to learn how to learn, <laughs> to be a student, you know, listen and <laughs> feel how it is for my students to be learning how to sew. So well, our class was supposed to go to 4 p.m. and then the goal was to hit a couple fabric stores on the way back to the hotel. But that didn't quite work out <laughs> because there was wine floating around and we were having a good time that the class went to 5.30 and then it started to get dark. So we uh, didn't make it to the fabric stores we wanted to and we were already tired <laughs> and yeah, it was, but it was really fun. And uh, the best part was going to the market with uh, Marco, who's Roman, and I thought, I really, I love walking through the city and learning. He was showing us all the sites and what the meanings behind them, and then at the grocery store, pointing out things. And we really, uh, it was really a fun start to the class. I would highly recommend it if you go to Rome, is take a cooking class. Um, I'll see if I can find the name of his school, if I can remember it and put it down below. So taking a cooking class and getting immersed in the culture, it's a perfect start to a trip to Rome. We are shopping for our cooking class. Okay. And cardoncelli mushrooms okay. because they don't have porcini available. You know, porcini is something that you find available uh, only in some parts of the, of the year. Just in biodiversity. It's beautiful. See, so you have Romanesco mm. zucchini, for example. Mm. A little bit different from the, from the classic zucchini that mm -hmm. you find pretty much everywhere yeah. in the world, right? Then you have rounded zucchini. Round, oh wow, rounded zucchini. Yeah. I see that. This one I never see. Love eggplant. Then still, even if they are going out of season, you have one, two, three, four different kinds. Five, six, seven different kinds of tomato actually. Mm. One, two, three different kinds of eggplant. What is that up there with the... The pink one. Pink. What this is, is a, a radicchio. radicchio. So it's like a radicchio. It's like yeah, this. It's a so you, you have... Uh, in this country, 10,000 varieties of radicchio. You have that one that is called the rounded one. Then the rounded have, one. <laughs> it's the rounded one. Then and you have the long one. Yes, that's the one we have. Then you have up there the curly. Yeah, the curly it? one uh -huh. and the pink one. They just call it the curly one. Curly one, yeah. <laughs> Buy some to oh, make you try it. This represents happiness, the red. And even because, you know, now we need to go back uh, in the restaurant, start to make the pasta, it will pass some time before we will start to eat. <laughs> so we better <laughs> stop yeah. our stomach. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow, that many? Ah, oh, no, she, that's, those are for her. Oh, okay. <laughs> I still have to ask. <laughs> oh, my God. Well, we're a couple of big guys. Wait, wait, wait. I don't like what? I still have to ask. She doesn't read my mind. Oh, oh no. We don't read my mind. And then we eat it. Will this affect the rest of our day? Yeah. Every time you say that, it goes the night. I'm from the edge. You are. Wow. What are they made out of? What is? What's in it? Is that tomato? This is just. Yes. It's just pizza dough and tomato. Quanto? Oh. Grazie mille. I like the fact that there are people that are very like open-minded. Yeah, and, uh, and I like the fact that it's a oh, kind on. of uh, uh, reactive uh, system. So if something uh, is wrong, you, you do it, you do something wrong, and then you change. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Original problem. Right, yeah, it goes from, from something to something. <laughs> Here, 
think it is real. It's a matter of perception. So we will uh, make on a small scale what my nonna used to make on a big board for the whole family. So she would have placed probably half container of flowers straight on the board. So she would have made a mountain of flour, mm -hmm. then a big well in the center where to crack six, seven, sure. ten eggs, something like this. Wow. We are going to do uh, all that on a small scale, just for ourselves. So the idea is to make a little well that can actually fit our egg inside. You want to dust your dough with a little bit of flour. Here we go. See, it doesn't look oily anymore. Mm. And it's sliding on my board, which is perfect. Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> oh, the rolling pin with the no no. Yeah. Hello. This is the no no. No, no, no. Pay attention. Pay attention. <laughs> my nonna was so funny that my nonna to educate us, she was using the flip flop. How do you call it? Oh, the, no. the, the wooded shoe. The, uh -huh. the wooded um, the flip flop. The flip flop. Yes, okay. but the, the, she had an old style one. That, you know, <laughs> if you were doing something wrong, she was throwing it at you. <laughs> or if you were close, she was just using it to beat you because nonna was old and weak. So. With her arms, she couldn't beat you. She would hurt herself. So she would use this. <laughs> Oh, that's so pay attention. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 Door number one. So yeah, tagliolini. Look at that, yeah. Fettuccine. Oh my gosh, and look at that. What the? <laughs> and you want so, us to do that? Pappardelle. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why I can do it like this. <laughs> when Nonna was making ravioli with circles, she would do the maltagliati. This kind of pasta that I'm cutting now, mal tagliati, literally means extra cuts. Mm. Like not waste? And nonna yeah. wouldn't use, obviously she wouldn't waste them, right. she would use them for a soup, for a minestrone, yeah. for yeah. pasta e fagioli, yeah. things that I used to hate when I was a kid. But now? So, now I love it. Why did you, why did you hate it? I don't know, because uh, we kids, kids and beans sometimes and beans. don't go along with veggies that, yeah. that well. I thought it because you weren't getting a square meal. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's you not? You in the count, <laughs> uh, And so, <laughs> that was a good it's one. It's a good one, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, no, because I was like, okay, Nonna is making ravioli, which I love, but she's going to make pasta e fagioli soon. Oh, 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 look at you. Uh, <laughs> so you knew the beans were coming. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I was... Uh, I started to see the beans at your eyes. I'm yeah. <laughs> chef in Australia. I came back to Italy very proud of the skills that I earned. People were like, Marco, you're amazing. And now they all expect me to cook for them. Yeah, no, they exactly. Don't for me exactly. Just my mama sometimes. So oh, I need to make exactly. it better. So she, she do not want to cook for me. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's wisdom. See? <laughs> this is, this is okay, the one. Okay, so now I want to do this. <laughs> yeah, okay. The mm -hmm. five, five second rules, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, start to give you some glasses with water that you can use as glue. Ah. Use as glue? For glue in your... I think I was the messiest one there. Thank gosh we had an apron. And boy, the dishes sure did turn out beautifully. And they tasted just as good. We're well, our class was really close to this fabric store, which we made it to, but I think we missed it by minutes. So we never got to go inside. Our second day, we went to the Borghese Museum. One of my students, Beth Patterson, highly suggested we go and see this museum, and she was so right. Uh, beautiful sculptures, gardens, the paintings. It was really beautiful. You just like, you're looking at the ceilings, so you're just looking up. Everything in Rome is a lot of ceiling, a lot of ceiling paintings, wow. But this was beautiful, and we had the best tour guide. Make sure you get good tour guides if you go to Rome. Here's some clips from the museum. <laughs> wow. He's just the end, friends. <laughs> Leave the jest, it's the end. Yes. But maybe, maybe, this is a fact. You 
don't know, you cannot know what exists. Because we still need to on the ground. The images is over opposite to one minute left. On the bar, we introduced the spiral. You see, a spiral. Then Bernini was obsessed with creating different kind of patterns, different kinds of The first fabric store. Ah, right after we left the Borghese Museum, we went walking about another 15 minutes and found Aston Tessuti Altamoda. Beautiful, high-end fabric store. It reminded me a lot of a fabric store I used to shop at in LA called the Elegance. They had rolls and rolls of designer fabrics. Wow. And Wow, <laughs> and pricey, but just really beautiful. And I was so lucky, I came in with my camera, <laughs> and uh, which kind of puts people off a little bit, but I like to get the entrance and see how it looks. And a wonderful sales lady, um, Arietta, I, 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 I wrote it down, Arietta, it's Italian. She spoke pretty good English, um, just so nice. And these guys really they showed me bolts and bolts of fabrics. And uh, I was like, wow, I should help clean up. <laughs> but they're just pulling out bolts. And um, I thought, so I really I videotaped a lot of um, my uh, experience there at the fabric store. So I hope you enjoy this. Okay, coming up to the Aston Tessuti. And the sun just came out. Going to go do some fabric shopping. See what they have. Let's exit. Allora, ecco ho questo 380 grammi. <ride> che poi detto fra di noi Franco allora gli ho detto che questo è un cotone leggero che ci sono di tutto questo che abbiamo mandato sì, sì. Mario Franco questo bisognava solo dire poi quando è passato sui prezzi dice senta io a casa mia faccio il prezzo fino che ho detto 430 grammi che, vuol... che ne so dice che il saldo perché ci se volete freddo con questo io adesso vado anche per questo spazio c'è cioè, i prezzi se ti va bene bene se no perché c'è per il salto su no questo, no, questo è per lui perché non mi dice di perché poi se fosse costante perché stanno 430 grandi perché così che deve che si è capotto cioè poi direttamente ci muore ho lasciato ho lasciato un po' di tutti in giro ho fatto una curata qui è bello Forse sai che noi ce l'abbiamo a casa qualcosa di più pesante di Sassani, però è rimanere aderito come... Non c'era il colore che voleva lui, sì. magari, eccolo là. Eh, esatto. Vedi, ecco che ho sì. <ride> Solo però... che non c'è il blu. Sono, sono pure tanto... Ma poi questo è qui, lo faccio 120 anni. Sono 50 anni. Appunto, quando vuoi fare... Mm. Adesso mi vado qui, perché mi fa forza. Forse... Look, velvet. Oh. <laughs> 
Beautiful silk velvet. What's the black? Is this one? Yeah. How much is that a yard or a meter? Um, the price? Yeah, price. Yeah. It's a silk chiffon or a Georgette? Is it Georgette. A Georgette? A silk, silk Georgette. Yeah. I always pick the ones without prices. Wow. <laughs> Sometimes it's it happened. <laughs> Sometimes not. Di sotto sette cinque cinque. Eighty-eight meters. Yeah. For one meter, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pure silk, made in Italy. All your fabrics made in Italy? All made in Italy. Mm -hmm. Some of them are from France. Maybe some, some of this kind. Uh, okay. Maybe the embroidery or the lace. The lace is from, lace from France. France. Wow. But the, all the silk is the best silk in the world is from Italy. The best wool and cashmere in the world is from Italy. Now, in the, the silk is uh, they produce the silk in um, uh, near Como, Lake oh. of Como, uh -huh. you know. Mm. And the best quality of uh, wool and cashmere uh, are from uh, Piemonte, uh, the Biella is in the north of the Italy because of the the water is oh. the best water mm -hmm. to work and wash the material so they they wow. become I'm sorry for my English become oh. really you have good English beautiful. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> good for me <laughs> wow beautiful okay let me look in some more I like the I love Georgettes so yeah. I have this one skirt I make a lot I love uh, to make skirts so and I make them out of Georgettes, and oh my gosh, it's beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful prints here. Mm. It's hard to choose. A lot of them are modeled from pret a porter or Alta Ike fashion. What was this one? So, from? this is pret a porter from Cavalli. Oh, really? Yeah, Cavalli. It's a Cavalli model. This one is from Versace, Versace model, and it's mm -hmm. a. 
it's hard to degradé of color and Don't design yeah. uh, over only down. Mm. It makes it hard to work with because the yeah. print is so <laughs> wow. And then this is from Valentino and this organza. Yeah. This is yeah. organza. It's very soft organza yeah. too. No, but it's a, yeah. it's yes, it's very soft. soft yeah. yeah, usually. It's not so, the wave, but it's very yeah, soft. Yeah. It's a nightmare to work with. This is beautiful too. Wow. Mm. Huh. What other cavallis do you have? Yeah. Is there any more cavallis you have? Yeah, mm -hmm. all, mm -hmm. all, all of them. Uh, Giorgetto yeah. chiffon, uh, not satin. Um, uh, Which this kind? chiffon or Giorgetto? Chiffon, okay. Yeah. Cavalli. Yeah. 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 Who's is this Cavalli? Yeah. Cavalli. Yes. Wow. It's almost like a blend. So it starts here. Yeah. And then the print is. Yeah. Wow. That's beautiful. Was everything was like this, and after this kind of. Uh, work uh, it become like this oh my gosh <laughs> i don't want to cut that up <laughs> it's something like a cut or burn burn you know? out yeah like yeah something out. like yeah. this yeah yeah and then it's chemical burn yeah out. yeah wow that's beautiful and i love this one as a charmeuse This is another from Cavalli and Ooh. is Georgette. Pretty. Wow. Mm. Oh, I don't know which one to get. <laughs> I'm liking either one of these. Very good. Um, this is Cavalli too. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Kitty cat? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is Cavalli too. Ooh. And this Georgette of silk oh, with the uh, Lurex. Lurex. Wow. This is Cavalli too. <laughs> oh this is silk. Not Georgette, it's silk uh, heavy oh, with uh, okay. a little. Mm. Uh, a little bit of um, lurex. Lurex in it. Wow. This one's a... This is Cavalli from this season. Great, great. Oh, wow. <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I don't know which one. I'm still drawn to this one. The skirt I want to make is... This is Cavalli, for example, oh. and we have somewhere uh, here. Uh, Franco, mi scusi, sì. Dolce Gabbana. Mm. This have in blue. Oh. <laughs> yes. Brown and blue. Wow. And like roses. What? Yeah. When did he do this? What them? Um, I still like this one. What's the meaning behind the cats? <laughs> <laughs> Why did he do kitties? <laughs> Isn't it cats? Cats. And in Rome, they're special. Do you want to be interested? No. Madam? Mmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. 
Oh my, really? I'm still loving this one. <laughs> I still love this yeah. one, I think. How much is this one? I can't tell. 98. 98? Uh, all the silk is 98. Oh, 98. Mm. Mm. Oh, wow. Is that like a... Oh, the panel with that. The panel, yeah. Ooh. Wow. Mm. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm loving this one. I love the weight of this one. That's something. Ci sono anche questo, il pavone e il boom. Not the weight. Yeah, it's very. Panel. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> I have just one skirt. <laughs> I have to, the I'm, first love. To, yeah, I know. I'm, the first love is always the, I'm the best. I look one. at all the fabric stores, I have to buy something from every store. So, <laughs> we like, I know, I, just, I have this one. This is really beautiful for a skirt because it's not too much, but it's uh, <laughs> the first That's love. It's my first love. <laughs> How long have you been here, this store? Pardon? How long has this store been here? Wow, well, uh, uh, till uh, 1972. Um, so 50 years. That's 50 this years. This year, to, 50 yeah. years, yeah. 50 years, on the same corner and all? No, no? before, uh, here we are uh, since no, no, no. Mm, 1990. Okay, 1990. 1990. Before we have in the other street, at the end of the other street, in other, it's. Detail? Mm, Umedro. Umedro. Okay. 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 So, if you need something, we can send to you sample or send the material, mm. no problem. We sell. Uh, in all the world like this and uh, this is our okay. WhatsApp number. Yeah. Mm. If you want oh. to have a look this downstairs, so, so we have a oh. lot of material uh, oh. to, 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 to take uh, <laughs> the film. Oh, okay. I just run down real yeah. quick. Okay. Yeah. I'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> <Wee -wee. laughs> wow. I was thinking about something like this. Oh, that oh, we oh have my gosh. all the the, the kind of material oh. that is uh, right. Uh, maybe I can uh, I can yeah, find old something one. old one that yeah. you can use. Oh, oh my gosh! I is the book that Arietta found for me? It's from 2008. But I love the color ranges and then the different uh, kind of like crepe fabric. And then in the front was the Valentino. Uh, different boucles. I want to teach more, uh, especially with my sewing retreats, about fabrics. I found a lot of my students really want to know more about fabrics, and this is going to help. I have some other, a lot of other um, color books from a company I um, sold called Doncaster, and I uh, love all these color cards, and so people can really see the different fabrics. They want to see big fabrics, right? Um, the prices were a little high in this fabric store, so I couldn't buy everything I wanted. And uh, because, wow, I, uh, I really, there's a few I look at that, I'm like, oh, I wish I would've got that. That happens everywhere you go. So don't videotape where you go, because then you'll want those pieces. But, uh, what did I do with that rose fabric? I'm going to the Costume Designer Guild Awards in Los Angeles in a few weeks, and I made it into my evening gown. To wear there every year i upcycle the same gown and turn it into something completely different and this year i was like that rose fabric would be great to turn into the gown so what i've done was i added it to my gown right here the the bodice part and then the the skirt part it's a big circle skirt on the bottom and i added a layer this is a rose um cut out print or the burnout print on silk chiffon that I made a shrug with here last year. I have a video on that too, on the shrugs. And I just added the rec my rectangle skirt pattern right here into the skirt part. So I just took it apart and then added the two rectangles right there. So 
now I have this like flowy, flouncy gown part. And the best thing what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna take it apart after the event and turn it into one of my rosy skirts that I can wear during the day. And this is one of the rosy skirts as well as the green one behind right here so that is this is a rosy skirt also i love that pattern you can do so much with it even put it on an evening gown so that is what i've done with the rose pattern i've already used it and uh it was easy to pack i just rolled it up i didn't have to get another suitcase for usually when i go to la i shop like a lot i have to bring an extra suitcase but the fabrics i bought were uh thin <laughs> Thin and expensive, <laughs> but that is a good use for some rose fabric. So the next day we went to the Vatican. If you're in Rome, you gotta go see the Vatican, right? We saw the Sistine Chapel. Couldn't bring you photos on that because we weren't allowed to take pictures. But uh, wow, it was huge, it was a whole day. What Mike and I did was we did the breakfast tour. Um, it was a little pricier, but we got to go in early morning, which is not my thing, and it was quiet and peaceful. And there's a small group of us, and we went in and they, they took on a little tour of places, and we went in and had breakfast, and we came out, and then we got to, a great tour guide. She was a medieval archaeologist, and wow, I just I love all those history stories. But um, yeah, the Vatican was really beautiful. Spent a whole day there, and then we went over to St. Peter's Basilica. We didn't actually go in, but we went to the courtyard there uh, where the Rome comes out or the Rome where the Pope comes out and uh, it was stunning and you look up and there's Michelangelo's statues everywhere and it was just it was it was wow <laughs> so if you go to Rome you have to stop there <laughs> Get the pancakes. 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 Pancakes.
black on black. But I love this. It has a little like coffee beans in silver. And I just bought a very small piece. It's a, and it's not even very wide, 35, maybe 45. But uh, I thought for just a skirt yoke right here. And then this one had a big swatch taken out of it, so I got a little bit extra, but swatched out. Then I found this fabric, and the more I look at this, I had a fabric so similar to this. It's a silk crepe, um, really beautiful texture. And when I saw this one, I thought this would be great for the rose fabric right here. That is really pretty. This could be, I don't know, I could take it apart and make it into the rosy skirt there, but um, I love different varieties of black. It doesn't have to be solid, and uh, wow, it was really pretty. She ended up really um, giving me, I guess they were on sale, and gave me a pretty good deal on it, and said, oh, just take the finished part of the bolt, and, and uh, so I got these two new pieces I have to do something with. I'm sure it won't be a problem, <laughs> anyway. But next we went into, uh, apparently this, we didn't quite know where we were. We were just walking and trying to find these fabric stores, and we came out, and then we were like, so a lot of good looking people <laughs> we were like in the stores we were like oh i think we're in the shopping area where all that beautiful you know valentino and prada all the stores are and we're walking around and then we see the spanish steps and i knew those stores were near it but i had envisioned it a little differently i was thinking spanish steps and then over to the side were all these stores but apparently they're in the other way and we also saw a ups truck now mike is almost 40 years with ups that's why we mentioned the ups truck <laughs> and uh, take you on a little shopping tour here see a few of the windows of the beautiful shopping area and then up to the Spanish steps Ooh, here's the Lissandra oh Alexander McQueen oh right there so this is where we bumped into oh my gosh Ooh. now there's another one close by here yeah I was, um, I was thinking, I was like, I thought those last issues were going to be finished up, steps. I had no idea we were <laughs> Oh, look what I found. UPS truck. UPS truck. Finally, we found the UPS truck. That's, that's a fancy store. Ah, Giorgio Mani. I love the window. Let's go look at the window. Yeah, 
in your steps. covers the first three days of our seven-day fabric trip. <laughs> Four more days and many more fabric stores to come. So stay tuned for part two of my fabric tour of Rome for Sew on the Road.